Hello! In this video I want to show you Instant Vista 2. Before you start, you have to load the configuration file to the Medifighter Twister. If this is done, you can connect the Medifighter Twister to the Instant Twister device. On the left side you see the MIDI ports and you can connect it um, to the device. Here on the top you have 16 preset banks where all your settings including the colors are stored. And uh, 16 preset banks are divided by 4 blocks. So block 1 is preset 1 to 4, block 2 is preset 5 to 8 and so on. On the right side you can type the name of your preset. So if you want to map the device to the sands, you can type in sands or whatever. Here you find the settings for the 16 dials of the Instant Twister. So you have two options, it's map for mapping a parameter or banks for switching the presets. You can also assign the side buttons so they are mainly here to switch uh, between the presets. Here we will use the map function and we will map a send of a track to one dial and the button we will map to uh, the on off switch of the track. Here you can set also the behavior of the button, so you can choose between gate, toggle and automatic. If you hit the button in gate mode, the parameter is on, if you release it, it's off. In toggle mode, you can switch between on or off. And automatic mode is a mix between gate and toggle mode. Here on the on off buttons you can change the color of the dial and you can copy and paste the colors. On the side and on the top you see small buttons where you can select a row or a column. On the right side you can edit all selected dials at once. Or you can select or unselect all dials. To switch the preset banks with a dial, you can set it on banks and with a dial you can pre-select a preset and if you push the button you can confirm the selection. And you can set the side buttons to switch your presets. There you have different options to select a bank directly. set it up to switch to the next or previous bank and you can also configure them to select a block. That means on two side buttons you can switch 
to the next or previous block and the other four buttons will follow depending on which block you are. So in this example the MIDI fighter is connected to the Mixmax. It's a DJ style arpeggiator where you can fade from one sequence into another. And you can also set the intention of each sequence. This preset bank it's connected to Sonic Charge's Microtonic. And here this preset bank is connected to track select where you can fade through your tracks and also your scenes and you can change the view of Ableton Live so you can switch between arrangement mode and session mode. You can show and hide the browser, you can show and hide the clip view or device view. And you can recall also a complete preset where you can switch between different views. Then it's connected to a channel strip uh, inside track select where you can control the volume, the panorama, the sense, solo or record button of the selected track. And it's also possible to unfold and fold your group tracks. And 
and you can also control the pitch and the gain of the selected audio clip.